Gardening's Gardening Friends, and welcome to the first gardening experiment of the year. You may be wondering what you're looking at. Well, let me kind of tell you what I'm thinking here. I wanted to figure out, since I'm doing a lot of indoor, well, basically I'm forced to do all indoor gardening now, because uh, I don't have a patio or a balcony or any place outside that I can put plants except maybe at friends' houses. Um, so what I was trying to figure out in terms of indoor gardening was the effect of light on the plants. There are grow lights out there, some of that stuff gets really expensive, and I wanted to figure out what is the actual effect. Um, there's plenty of research out there, I could have just followed the research, but I got curious. So here's what we're looking at. Uh, if you want to do the same sort of experiment, what you're going to need is multiple uh, colored light sources, uh, and some kind of set of containers. You probably want them all to be about the same size and obviously since it's gardening you're going to need soil and seeds. So what we're looking at here is my solution and let me tell you how I got to that. I was trying to come up with something simple, something common, something I don't have to spend money on if possible because I am the budget gardener. And what I came up with initially was an egg carton. And I said, you know, hey, I could put some lights in the top of each one, put some soil in the bottom, and then I quickly realized all the problems with this particular egg carton. Number one, it's made of a paper-based product. So you put a little bit of soil, a little bit of moisture, and the bottoms of these things are going to disintegrate pretty quickly. Number two, uh, if you're trying to maintain the light kind of isolated, um, which may not be as big a deal, but how to get the light in there. I've got all of these holes here where the light's going to escape out of there. Um, I'm trying to kind of do lights inside a darkened area to some degree. Um, but I had a thought of, you know, I could just poke a hole in, in the side next to each egg compartment and put a light in there. Um, and that wasn't such a bad idea, but ultimately it's the paper-based part of this that's the problem. So, whoops, I dropped some eggshells. Uh, what I came up with was, okay, if that's not going to work, maybe the styrofoam version would work. Um, and in that, then you can actually poke individual little holes where each egg compartment is. And it's pretty well sealed on the top, so you're not having to deal with a, a problem there. Um, unfortunately, when I went to go out and get this, it wasn't available the day I went out to go get it, so I was standing there in the store going, okay, what else can I get? Okay, I can go to the dollar store. What else can I find? And that's where I finally came up with this, and you can come up with something similar if you want, and that is the, uh, basically it's for making popsicles. Uh, so that's the container, and let me pull the lights up and show you something. If you look carefully, you'll see that I've got tape in there. Basically, my thinking was, since I wanted to kind of isolate the uh, light from one compartment to another, I ultimately put tape in there to try and block it. Now, I didn't have to come all the way down to the bottom because ultimately I'm going to put soil on the bottom of each one of these. So that's how I came to that. Now let's talk about the lights. These are basically standard Christmas lights. Uh, although if you look at it, at what I've done here, you can see that I've got clusters of lights and they're all the same color in each cluster. That allows me to sort of concentrate the light from four of these in one area. Uh, in terms of colors, if you were to go out and buy multicolored uh, Christmas lights, odds are what you're going to find is that it's going to be a sequence of colors, maybe red, green, blue, violet, yellow, red, green, blue, violet, yellow, and so on. So in looking at the container, I was I figured I've got eight compartments here. If I wanted to try two different seeds, I could do two different seeds four times. So I have to limit myself to four of the five colors that I had here. So I picked the red, the green, the blue and the violet. Um, red is supposed to promote uh, seed, seed uh, uh, what do you call it, germination. 
um, the blue is supposed to promote flowers. Well, ultimately we're going for germination, but those are two key colors. The green, theoretically, wouldn't do anything at all because if you think about a plant's leaves, it's green. That green is actually filtering out the green component of the light. So it'd be almost like having no light. And then uh, the violet, I'm hoping, is kind of near ultraviolet, so we get to see kind of those effects. So ultimately, I'm going to put these into this, something like this. I'm going to do it quickly here before I run out of memory. And you can kind of see, so that's how that's going to go. Um, and then I'll have the violet on those too. So, the key now is to put the soil and the seeds in there and to put the lights back on top. Okay, now everything's filled up. You know, this, one of the hardest parts of this experiment is just try to get the uh, same amount of soil and the seeds in approximately the same depth. Um, there's two different kinds of seeds here. I'm going to have to label this actually. I've got beans on the top row and I've got nasturtium on the bottom row. I expect the beans will probably pop up faster than the nasturtium, though they've been soaking for quite a while. Uh, and the beans were almost sprouting when I dropped them in. So that's really kind of giving them a head start, but we'll see. Uh, now let me get the lights in there and we'll wrap up. Okay, the lights are in. Now it occurs to me this is not a perfect setup. I uh, probably should have some kind of cover on top and have the lights poking through it because in part, uh, well, one, they're getting down pretty close to the soil and number two, there's moisture here. You've got to be careful about moisture in the presence of electricity. Uh, so I'll see if I can come up with a refinement, but for now that's the basic idea of the experiment. If you decide to try and do something of a similar nature, be, please feel free to send me a, a message uh, or even send me a video if you can. Uh, I'd like to see what other people come up with.